Kevin Anderson, aka O Dog, was born sometime in 1975 in Los Angeles, California. At an early age, O Dog joined the Crip Street Gang, becoming one of their favorite active members. And although it's not said directly, he is more than likely a member of the PJ Watch Crips. I came to this conclusion due to the lack of purple sported by O Dog and his homies, though it is possible that he could have been part of any Watch Crip set. Old Dog grew up with his childhood friend, Kane, who he spent many days and nights hanging out with. Old Dog represents the youth that are remorseless killers willing to do anything to fuel his gangster ego. He shot a liquor store owner simply for a comment he made about his mother and killed the owner's wife because she wouldn't stop screaming in panic, showing you just how little it takes for Old Dog to snap. He is also vengeful, helping Kane kill the guys responsible for killing Harold, killing rival blood gang members. O-Dog and Kane are hired by a local hoodlum named Chaucey for a car insurance scheme but are caught in the process and arrested by police. A detective attempts to link Kane to the store killings by matching fingerprints. Once released, Kane buys a new car from a chop shop and robs a local hustler for his dating wheels. Kane begins to enjoy his new hustler life with his crew, meeting a local girl named Lena, which he will regret later on. O-Dog pulls a gun on Kane jokingly. Hey, nigga, give up the car right now. <laughs> Look at your ass, scared straight. Before an altercation breaks off between Alina's cousin, Kane, and even O Dog. Oh, shit. Go. Go ahead, that <laughs> but the downfall of Old Dog came when he started bragging, showing off the murder tape, even stating that he was selling it for $55.95. Much to their surprise, Chaucey sells Old Dog and Kane out by showing the police the copy of the tape involving the liquor store assault. According to Kane, Old Dog had been staying with a variety of different homies each night, but promised to kill Chaucey if he didn't get arrested by the police first. Lena's cousin's gang executes a drive-by shooting on the house during which Sharif is killed. Old Dog engages in the shootout and Kane is fatally wounded just as Kane was packing the car to move to Atlanta. As Kane lies bloody in Stacy's arms, seeing flashbacks of the events that led to his final moment, he realizes that in the end, it all catches up with you. As for Odog, he is arrested for the murder of the Asian couple. His story more likely ends with him going to prison for life and becoming a thriving gang leader behind the wall. <laughs>